Good afternoon, um, welcome to another vlog here from Darun Grammar School, as I call it, the control room of Darun Grammar School. Um, I hope you've had a great weekend um, and are looking forward to another busy week. This week you're going to hear about the close of Assessment Window 2 and what's going to happen now after all the um, assessments have been completed. A little bit about our summer sessions for our new S5 and S6 for Session 21-22. Our new timetable, um, information about when that's starting, some information about our S6 leavers, um, some information regarding our in-service days and the school holiday coming up. I hope you enjoy listening to all our news. Hi, Mr Garner here. I hope you guys are all well. So assessment window two has closed. Um, just like to say, so proud of you all for the maturity, the resilience and dedication that you've shown during the last few weeks working through the alternative certification model. We really do appreciate all your efforts and we're really confident that you've shown your best in these assessments. So you might be asking what's going to happen now in and around the alternative certification model. Well, um, departments will now be marking and moderating the, the work that you've produced, the evidence that you've produced. and. That will be the main focus of the two in-service days that will take place on Thursday and Friday of this week. Remember, as explained in previous SQA updates and also vlogs, moderation means quality assurance. It's making sure that the, the papers have been marked accurately and up to the SQA standards. So you can have every confidence that the grade that you achieve um, as a result of this process is based on the evidence, evidence that you have demonstrated. After that, um, after the in-service days, the, the school has a deadline of the 3rd of June, whereby the departments will put forward um, what they think based on the evidence and having a look at the, the uh, all the evidence you've produced um, under control conditions as part of your evidence base, they'll arrive at a holistic judgment of where they think you're at or where you actually are based on your performance in these assessments. And that will then be sent to our local authority on the 10th of June, who again will scrutinise those results that we put forward. And on the 23rd of June, we will then put, uh, send those results to the SQA. And then the 24th, we will then s uh, send out to all of you um, the results, the provisional results that, that, that um, you have achieved as a result of the, the assessments that you've sat and your demonstrated attainment during those assessments. So you can have every confidence in the process. The, the work um, will be subject to local moderation. And that means internally within the school, but also with partner schools across our Gail and Butte. Several of our subjects were chosen for national moderation and we've sampled some of our marking and assessment materials and sent them across to the SQA and they'll provide feedback um, on the use of those assessment materials and their assessment judgments. And if there's any lessons to be learned, that will be shared and applied across the cohort to make sure that we're, we're continuing to adhere to the SQA standards. So that's just a wee indication of where we're at and where we're going with this. But as of, we're, we're aiming by the 24th of June is when you will be issued with a report indicating your provisional results for this alternative certification model. Okay, for S S four and S five next week, uh, we wee bit different. Um, we've got some summer sessions. It sounds like a music festival. Unfortunately, it's not quite just as exciting as that, but um, it is still extremely important. And hopefully, you will enjoy aspects of the provision um, that we've got in place for you for the, the two weeks, uh, six days. When you factor in the service days and the the holiday Monday, it's actually only six days. Um, until the timetable then changes and the timetable will kick in, the new timetable will kick in on Monday the 7th of June. So um, first of all, if you are contacted by one of your subjects um, to come in to complete some evidence for the alternative certification model, then that's a priority. Make sure you go and do that first before you participate in any of the summer sessions. And if you're con contacted by the department, then we would expect you to attend that subject um, during your normal scheduled 
timetabled lessons for that subject until you're told otherwise that you're, you're done and dusted with you producing your evidence. And that might still be the case if you've maybe missed an assessment or for practical subjects where they're really pushing you to produce your latest and best to be factored into the the judgment that they'll make in and around your demonstrated attainment as part of the alternative certification model process this year. So in terms of the summer sessions, what have we got in store for you? So Monday of this week, the 24th, well, that's going to be sports day. Um, so sports day will be a choice of a variety of different sports. It'll be softball, uh, rounders, um, old fogies like myself would call that, but softball, volleyball and football. So please uh, bend your PE kit and appropriate footwear for whatever sport that you select um, to participate on. And I'll be from 9 until 11 on Monday in the PE department. And I really can't thank the PE department enough for all their support during the assessment windows that they allowed us to use our facilities and they continue us to, to use our facilities during the summer sessions. And obviously they're providing this first session. So a big thank you to everybody in the PE department. Okay, and Tuesday and Wednesday, it's going to be uh, two different activities. The first one is MVP training, so Mentors and Violence Prevention Training. Extremely important, we do it every year annually with our young people, and that will take place. You'll be participating if you're in S4, that will be on the, the Tuesday, and it will be for S5s on the Wednesday. S5s on the Tuesday, you guys will be participating in the Dunoon Project Challenge, a series of exciting activities in and around this amazing attraction that we are hopefully soon going to have on our doorstep here in Dunoon, a real world-class attraction. And we're going to hear from some of the people behind the project um, during that session, and then you're going to use your creative capacities to to, to bring to bear on that project and they're in some enterprise activities. So it'll be S5 on the Tuesday and it'll be S4 on the Wednesday for that. Thursday, Friday is in service days. You lucky devils will be in here slogging away, working hard. Believe me, we will. Um, but we really do hope you enjoy a, a, a great long weekend. You have, you've deserve it. You've worked extremely hard. and You've been a real credit um, to the school and to your families. So you know what? Get the feet up. Enjoy a lovely weekend. Um, and we'll see you then back on the Tuesday, Tuesday the 1st of June, which will be a new year countdown. It's a new academic year countdown. So a variety of different activities. Um, so prefect training, uh, looking at those of you moving into sixth year, your column F, what options are available to you there. Um, and also just pinning down your options so we, we, you know and we know what you're ready to rock with come Monday the 7th of June. We're also looking to have a wee bit of fun there. Um, uh, get your dancing shoes on, uh, dancing shoes on, get the glad rags on, because we're going to have an S4 versus S5 just dance off. So I'm telling you, I'm the man to be on that. So get get practicing um, over the weekend. Okay, Wednesday, the 2nd of June. Uh, two sessions for you. We're working with our fantastic friends at Skills Development Scotland to be looking at the support that they can give you um, in your senior phase at Dunning Grammar School and life beyond the mighty DGS. And I'll be doing a session, believe it or not, on study skills. I know you've just been um, had that assessment, uh, the, the real gauntlet of assess assessments since so coming back after Easter. But the, the techniques I'm going to sh share with you um, you can actually start applying them from the get go on Monday the seventh, and it's not it's not a quick fix. It's not something you can just pull out the bag just before an assessment. It's an ongoing set of techniques that I'm going to share with you um, on that day. So two sessions on the Wednesday, the second of June, Skills Development Scotland, and then study skills with myself, looking at active recall and space repetition. And on the Thursday, um, we're looking to have maybe a range of different activities there that you can pick and mix, have a wee choice. Um, I might be getting outdoors, going for a walk with some of the SLT. I'm sure you'll love that. Um, but also maybe some online sessions, maybe looking at some um, some of the fantastic TED Talks of the past that can really make you think. Um, also tapping into some resources, think like resources, so learning spaces. Um, there's one um, big chill space that you can use to just relax on that, that last day of S4 or S5, whatever year. It's your last school day um, before you then come back on the Monday up when you're then going to be on either an S5 or an S6. So there'll be a range of different activities there for you on that Thursday that you can choose um, and it'll be a nice fitting end to what's been a, a, a pretty hectic um, academic year. But it's make sure that you're then good to go when you rejoin us 
Monday the 7th, which is our New Year's Day, New Academic Year's Day for next uh, session. So hope you enjoy, as I said, your long weekend when it comes and I will see you again um, very soon. Take care all. We'll be changing timetable um, on Monday the 7th of June. That means everybody will move up a year. Um, thank you to Mrs Campbell and Miss Stewart who spent a great deal of time and effort uh, getting the timetable created this year. They've done a great job and managed to accommodate um, departments' wishes and needs. So um, a massive thank you from me to, to them. Um, as I said, young people will be moving up a year and they'll be given their new timetable on the uh, 7th of June. They may get it on the Friday, but they will go to their house, uh, house class on the 7th of June and they'll be issued with their new timetable. Um, but we'll get more information out to pupils and parents um, as quickly as we can. I can't believe that our S6 young people are leaving school. Um, I remember speaking to them as part of the primary seven transition. I also remember their first day in school, welcoming them as the new S1s, and they looked extremely smart. They still look extremely smart with um, all their school uniform on. Um, I want to wish them all the very best as they move on to the next stage of their careers and journeys. Um, some are going off to university, some are going off to college, apprenticeships, and into the world of work. We're going to miss them greatly in the school, um, but I do wish them all the very best, and please do make sure you keep in touch. So a wee message for all the S6, you must come to school in school uniform on Friday the 4th of June. That At 1 o'clock, you must come to school at 1 o'clock and wait in the forum. We'll have um, SDS and the Heads of House available and you'll be signing your leavers form and your destinations form um, and we'll get all of your material returned to your class teachers as well. So Monday, eh, Friday the 4th of June, please um, um, come to school. Okay, but I do wish you all the very best, and as I say, we're going to miss you greatly. We have um, in service days approaching, so on Thursday the 27th and Friday the 28th of May, we have two in service days. One of them was already planned the, the 28th, however, Scottish Government gave us two additional in service days, one we've already had, the next one is on the 27th of May. These days will be set aside for moderation purposes as part of the um, assessment um, diet that we've had and our staff will be working with staff from other schools to ensure that we all understand the standards from each subject um, and ensure that our young people are achieving um, the best grade that they deserve. So the 27th and 28th young people will not be in school. We also have a holiday Monday on the 31st of May and again we'll open up on the 1st of June at 8.45. Thank you so much for listening to this week's vlog. Just before we leave, um, I would like to congratulate Miss Stewart and Mr Johnston who have achieved their into headship qualification after a lot of hard work. Um, they have now got the qualification that lets them move on to the next stage of their journeys and becoming a head teacher. Richly deserved by both of them. They work extremely hard and I'm extremely proud of both of them um, on this achievement. And hopefully as they move forward, one day they'll become a head teacher, not in the distant future. So well done to both of them. Have a great week and we'll speak to you again next week.